What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my teeny tiny little automotive channel. I am standing on a highway, by a freeway, with the Ferrari stuck on the on-ramp there. I'm gonna start the video by saying, as of right now, I don't know what's wrong with it. But this video is gonna be about me fixing whatever is wrong with it. I think, I think I had a brake caliper, maybe one, maybe two, I don't know. Uh, I think I had one just seize up on me because the car was running great. Cruising down here to go to uh, Cars and Coffee out here in Alito at Willow Park. And all of a sudden, you know, the car just starts slowing down for no reason. So I got it pulled over to the side and then I went, you know, I shut it off for a second. I started it back up and uh, as I tried to pull away, the car just not going anywhere. No smoke, no, nothing's dripping, nothing like that. So. I'm fairly confident that it's the brakes. You know, what a way to start a morning, but at least I got my coffee. So as I sit here and wait for a tow truck, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, enjoy the scenery, my broken down car on the side of the highway, uh, and just pontificate on what it could be. Yeah, I'm bummed that I'm stuck on the highway and I didn't make it to the cars with coffee, but can't be too upset. I mean, she may not be able to move, but damn, she's sexy. So here's a quick update. I've been sitting here for almost an hour. AAA put it in as a priority call and said the tow truck would be here about 9.20. So that's in about 16 minutes or so. Well, about 10 minutes ago, I got a call from that towing company and the lady asked me, is this something we could reschedule? Uh, my driver's off today. No, I don't want to reschedule that because I'm sitting on the side of the highway. Kind of a priority. So, I went ahead and just found another tow company that was sort of close by. And that'll probably be an expensive trip home. Maybe I'll just send the bill to AAA. Oh, and the best part was when I first called, it's an automated system. You have to sit there and go through all these prompts and listen to a computer voice. And it takes forever to actually talk to a real person. Not really something you want to do when you're sitting on the side of a busy highway, stranded. Maybe I'll have to do a separate video on how this gets handled through AAA because I'm not happy with them. I've been with them for like 14 years. You know, I don't ever really use their services. I've never had to, thank God. Knock on wood. There's no wood around. Oh, there's a piece of wood. Ah! Knock on wood. Yay! set up got out here getting me hooked up they were able to get here pretty quick so uh, AAA you need to learn something from this and find another company or do whatever you guys got to do to improve your system so as I'm making that last video of me getting on the truck AAA calls me oh we got it figured out uh, they're gonna be headed your way in about 30 minutes uh, you're killing me AAA you are killing me Made it home. Time to get it unloaded. Figure out what the heck I've been driving this car for a couple weeks with the new wheels and tires and all this stuff and no issues. You know, I've just been kind of cruising around town. This morning was the first long, I guess you could call it, trip that I took. I was about 21 miles or so from the house, but it was on the highway. Maybe that was just long enough to get the brakes heated up, you know, where they needed to be to not allow that fluid to move anymore. I'm gonna get pulling this apart, check the measurement on that piston on that little, I guess it's the piston coming out of the booster here, and see if I can't get it adjusted, put it back in, put the master cylinder back on, bleed the brakes again, and cross my fingers 
That'll be the last time I ever have to mess with this. Probably not. I've got the master cylinder out. I've got my old master cylinder and I'm just comparing and I've, I found the problem. It is indeed what I thought it was. It is that this right here is gonna need to be adjusted in because, check it out. I mean, this is so easy to miss for sure. So this is the new master cylinder and I've got my little trusty calipers here. So what I did was I took this measurement from the face, let's see right there to the end of that shaft. Here's the old one. And when I measure this, oh my gosh, I don't even know if you can see that on the camera, but let's see if I can adjust it to, can you see that? I mean, the tiniest little gap right there, that's it. That's what caused my brake failure. So this needs to be adjusted by, I don't even, what was that like a millimeter maybe? But that's it. That's all I have to do. And then I can put this thing back together. So what I did was I went in on this top nut here, in on this shaft to give me another millimeter of clearance. My calipers are locked down here at 117.8. So I'm good. And I'm actually, I mean, just like a butt hair above it. So I'm good with that being just over a millimeter. It says eight to 10 millimeters, I guess was from the factory. And if you adjust this in more and have more room, it just means your pedal's gonna go farther down to the floor before it grabs. But honestly, you know, just having that little butt hair of a space above this, I'm gonna run it. And I feel really confident that that's gonna be just perfect. That little distance right there, that's about one millimeter. And that is just enough to completely ruin your day. We're back up on the lift. We are ready to bleed the brakes, hopefully for the last time. And uh, we'll take her for a test drive and see what we got. Okay, boys and girls, back together. Took her around the block a little bit. Now, of course, the brakes aren't gonna get that hot just going you know, around the neighborhood and around the block. So the real test won't come until I get this thing back up on the highway and, uh, you know, at highway speeds for probably 20 minutes or so at least. I think I was about 20, 21 miles, 22 miles away from the house when this happened. So that's kind of where I need to be at speed for a little bit to get the temperature up to know that it's going to work. Now, I'm more confident this time than I was last time, and I can't believe I missed that. Uh, just one of those things. So pay attention and I guess I learned from my mistakes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next time something breaks, stay hungry, stay foolish. Sure.